The Apostles' Creed is one of the most well-known and oldest creeds in all of Christianity, dating back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries AD. It is a basic statement of faith, used originally to declare one's faith at the time of baptism. In those early days, there were multiple forms of the creed in circulation. The Church had not specifically authorized only a single edition. In fact, the version of the Apostles' Creed that is used in many churches today dates back to 750 A.D., several centuries later than the earliest editions. The basic elements of the baptismal creeds included affirmation of belief in God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the Church, judgment, and resurrection. The intention of using the creed was to promote continuity of the teachings of the Apostles and unity within the growing church. The creed was a means of recognizing adherents of apostolic Christian doctrine apart from those who followed other religions. It was assumed that the baptismal creeds were summaries of the doctrines taught by Jesus' apostles, hence the given name, Apostles' Creed. One of the earliest printed forms of this creed was identified as, quote, the Old Roman Creed, because it was delivered in 340 A.D. to Bishop Julius of Rome by Bishop Marcellus of Ancyra. Because of its association with Rome, this creed became popular in Western Christianity rather than Eastern Christianity. This early form of the Apostles' Creed affirms the Holy Church rather than than the commonly used Holy Catholic Church. The earlier form may be preferred among ecumenical Christians because of the subsequent association of the word Catholic with the Roman Catholic denomination of the larger church. The original meaning of the reference in the Apostles' Creed to Catholic was not only to the Roman Church, but to the entire or universal church, as is noted in many Christian worship resources. My own preference is for the earlier edition of the creed that refers to the Holy Church, so the creed may function as an act of worship for all Christians as intended, rather than as a cause for denominational debate or as a stumbling block for those not familiar with these origins. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.